this is your rub resistance instrument the, this forms the complete all the components and all the parts of the instrument these are the test weights three different weight sets this is the specimen disc holder on this surface the sponge is attached where you will be putting the printed surface all the printed material will be cut using this uh, from a frame and a blank uh, page of the same material will be of, will be cut using this dia and uh, this is a scissor for cutting and this is all accessories extra sponge and everything this instrument forms the basic uh, part for your resistance test this will be your main switch on pressing the switch on this will activate all the electrical systems uh, this forms your uh, weight holder where you keep this weight on into this and below which you put this specimen disc like this and uh, the right way of doing it is in the uh, non painted surface we do this and with the help of this yes, we have to hold it and using the specimen disc holder putting the printed material downwards putting the printed material below the specimen disc holder you have to put it this way and adjust it and you have to put any sets of weights depending upon your test requirement onto the weight holder by default we have set the revolutions to 200 our controller for setting the number of revolutions this will be your air blower to blow away any small printed particles of paper printers okay the when you switch on the main it starts counting this is the reset switch for setting it for setting the count to zero so on this the, this will be the your uh, uncoated material and this specimen where the printed material it will be rubbing this is how the rubbing action is achieved in this any dust particle or any material coming out of due to the abrasive less abrasiveness is blown away with the help of this blower that's it. You have to just observe this test visually to verify the adhesive properties of your ink or with the help of a densitometer if you want to num reduce the number of revolutions. When the count is achieved, this controller will stop the complete electrical system automatically. Then, this and this will go. There are three weight sets depending upon the pounds per square inch ratio as per the standard, meter standards. And this will be your knob with the help of this. You are supposed to adjust it to meet the circumference match, which is over here at this stage. But this setting is only required to be done once. Once this is tight, then you don't require to alter any of the settings.